why is it important to have the, the lowest level, either the individual or lowest level group, performing a function rather than someone else? Why is that important? That's the right question to ask. And I think the answer is this, that if we want a kind of adequate, broad theory of government, we ought to start with, well, the dignity of the human person and the common good. We want a society that really tries to help all individual human beings to achieve the fulfillment that they want. Now, the way that's done typically is not by people telling other people what to do or doing it for them. I mean, what it really means is helping human beings to pursue their fulfillment. And that means that higher levels of association should not displace the initiative and the, the activity of lower communities and of individuals. Because when they do that, in a way, they're, they're making those individuals dependent on them rather than the individuals relying on themselves. And when individuals rely on themselves, they have to do things, they have to uh, have initiative, they have to develop their talents and abilities, and that really helps them to develop as human beings. And that's a good thing. That's what government should want to do, to create the conditions where people are able to develop themselves and become better human beings.